Okay, welcome to Bexley. Just a few words about saying thank you. Very easy phrase to say, but in Bexley, we're looking to understand each other and to understand the work we're doing so that we can champion and celebrate our successes. We're mad crazy here about making a difference to families and to noticing when we do that. So every so often we get together for a breakfast called the Extra Mile Breakfast and we listen to each other's stories and notice what we're doing. We take time to listen to the difference people have made and that's about what you're just about to see. So thank you for watching and come to Bexley. My name's Laura and my name's Jess and we were nominated along with our colleagues Maria and Michelle for coming up with the idea of the Health and Wellbeing Day. We work for Resources Plus based in Erif um, and our job is to support long-term unemployed people with various barriers back to employment. Um, we came up with the Health and Wellbeing Day to try and re-engage some of our customers who've got quite severe health problems, quite severe mental health, um, possibly addiction issues etc. And it was a way of bringing everyone into the building at the same time to re-engage them and show them what support services we've got in Bexley. Um, and since the Health and Wellbeing Day we've had a lot of people re-engage and a lot of people making a lot of progress towards employment. Hi, uh, my name's Trisha Lonigan. I'm a social worker in the Looked After Children's team. Um, I was nominated for Employee of the Month um, due to um, care proceedings I was working um, in for a, a young girl of three and a half and her grandparents nominated me um, saying that I went the extra mile in making sure she was safe and looked after. Hi, my name's Lauren. I work in the North Locality Family Support and Child Protection team. I was nominated for Employee of the Month for working with two families who previously had um, eight and then ten children adopted um, and at the end of my involvement with them they've both kept their babies. Um, in the family's feedback they felt, even though they've had a long history of Bexley, that Bexley have completely changed. Um, the whole approach is different. They felt that they weren't judged at all along the way by any of the professionals and that both families would feel they'd be confident enough to call social services and ask for help if they needed it in the future. Um, and one of the families, the dad proposed to the mum at the end of the child protection conference. <laughs> Jenny Reardon, I work in the 14 to 19 in education. Um, I was nominated along with my colleague Felicity Khan for the Bexley Apprenticeship event that we held back in March. Uh, it's the fourth event that we've held annually. Um, it's getting bigger every year and this year we had over 700 young people with their parents come along to find out more about the apprenticeship opportunities in the borough. And we had over 60 providers, employers, colleges and information advice and guidance services come along and it was a fantastic event that's getting bigger every year. I'm Ellie Dullinegra, I'm a minute taker from the Independent Review and Conference team. I am Debbie Inglis, I'm the team leader for Business Support for the Independence Review and Conference team. We were nominated along with our colleagues Sarah Wayman, Kerry Hillier, Theresa Wood, Eloise Sibley for the work we've been doing in the CP conferences. Um, it's been a very, very busy time at the moment and we've covered conferences having to go out to Eastbourne and one large conference with 13 children and we was nominated by Susan Webb and Carr and Reynolds because they said that we are a good team and we do everything with a smile on our face, always willing to help and the work's always done and all out on time scale and apparently we never complained about anything. <laughs> um, so that's why we was nominated. So my name's Kat Sherwin, I'm a social worker in the Looked After Children Team 1. Um, I was nominated today by my manager for work with a young person. He had been in care since 2012 and um, in April last year he suddenly left his long-term placement 
and was refusing to go back um, and said that he just wanted to go home. So initially he said he wanted to go home with his grandmother because he didn't think going home to his mum was possible. Um, but his grandmother had recently suffered a stroke so it wasn't going to be possible. So um, I asked my manager if we could reassess her and he agreed. Um, and we looked at various things that were kind of the issues why we had removed him back in 2012 um, and we felt that things had moved on since then and he could safely return home but because it was his GCSE year we wanted to make sure and he was really struggling at school he was on the point of exclusion so we wanted to make sure as much as possible that we supported him to get his GCSEs um, so we initially started with a transition plan where we just gradually increased the amount of time he spent at home. Um, and that started in September last year and then in December last year he moved back home full time. Um, and he's done really well. He, got, he went to an alternative provision provided by the school um, and he got his GCSEs. Um, he's successfully back at home now, we've been back to court and the care order was revoked and the judge cried and um, now he is training to be a plumber. My name is Nia Jones, I'm a social worker in the Looked After Children's Team 1. Um, I was recognised today for my work with um, a young mother and a baby uh, where I'd worked with her for about four months, um, building trust and rapport with her, helping her to build confidence in her own parenting skills. Um, and then thankfully at the end of the four months she was able to move out with her baby into her own flat with support. Um, so I was recognised for that kind of happy ending. My name's Charlotte and I'm on the Children's Screeners team. I take first line calls for the service. Um, we have a regular caller who has severe mental health issues. Um, mother would like contact with her children but is not able to as the child is placed under an SGO with another family member. Um, mother wanted to obviously speak with myself on more than one occasion. She didn't want to speak to anyone else. I think mum got the feeling that I was, I would take time to listen to her. Um, but yeah, mum, the, the case has now progressed to our assessment team, so they're going to be investigating the issue and speaking directly with the children to see what their opinion is on the, on the situation. My name's Sharon Lewis, I'm an Education, Health and Care Plan Support Officer. Um, I was nominated today for um, going above and beyond during a period of change. We went from a very small team of 10 to a large team of 33 and I've been supporting people along the way, um, helping to train them and show them the ways of the SEN team. Hello, my name's Natasha Povey and I'm the LSCB coordinator in the Local Safeguarding Children's Board. Um, I was nominated today, um, not for a specific project, but for a, a general attitude and attention to detail and uh, helping the LSCB achieve its objectives during a time of change. Um, it was really nice to be nominated because uh, it was a day when I wasn't feeling particularly organised, uh, but it kept me going.